In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use some new features on Samsung Cloud that will allow you to back up specific files to your Samsung account, as well as how you can actually use the web browser to browse and delete photos that are backed up in your gallery. Let's get started. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now in today's video, I will be using the Note 9, but this will work on Samsung Galaxy S9s, as well as other supported Samsung devices. So if you haven't already, make sure that you add your Samsung account to your phone, and then to get to your Samsung Cloud to make sure that everything is set up properly, go into the settings of your phone, and then you're gonna go down here and find the clouds and accounts. So if you can't find it, you may just need to scroll down just a little bit. Here you can see it says Samsung Cloud. I'm gonna select Clouds and Accounts, and then here we have Samsung Cloud. So when I open this up, it's gonna show me my recent activity. Here it's gonna show me how much I've used of my plan. Here we can back up the gallery and see other information that we actually have backed up on this device. So then um, if we want to see and add more storage to our Samsung Cloud account, so maybe I use up all the 15 gig, I can tap right here, and then here I can choose more storage plans. So right now there are three different options. Here you get 15 gig for free. Here you could upgrade to the 50 gig plan for a dollar a month, or you can upgrade to the 200 gig plan, which would be 299 per month. So if you end up liking the features I show today, make sure that you go in here and upgrade so that you can store any file that you would like to on your device. So first let's talk about the gallery backup. So right now I have it turned off on this device, but I do have it turned on on some of my other Samsung phones. So if you turn this on, it's gonna quickly use up that 15 gig of storage that you have. Of course, it will back up images and videos, so you may want to purchase more storage if you wanna back up your gallery. But to see more options, I just need to tap on the gallery, and here it's showing me the last photos that were actually backed up to my gallery. Down here I have the sync options, and here it's saying that 8.36 gig is used, and that's 624 images and videos um, there, here you do have a trash. So even if you delete some things in the gallery on the Samsung Cloud account, it could be here in the trash. And then here you have the option to delete all gallery data in the cloud. Um, but most of the time you don't wanna do that and you wanna choose individual photos. So here you can go and select view all and I can see all of these photos. If I open up a picture, I can delete just that picture but maybe you don't have access to a phone with Samsung Cloud and you haven't installed it. So let me show you how you can actually go onto the web and view these photos and other Samsung Cloud information and delete that all right off of your computer. To view your Samsung Cloud account on the web, just go to your web browser and go to support.samsungcloud.com. You will need to sign into your Samsung account to view your information. So once you sign in here, you will see your cloud usage. So the same thing that we were seeing on our device, our phone or tablet. Here we have the gallery. So you have 8.36 gig. You can see the pictures here. It's showing other sync data like your S notes, your Samsung notes, memo. You can't view those files, but you can view and delete um, the backups that you have stored. Here we have Samsung Cloud Drive. So it's gonna show the most recent files there. Here we have other backups and then MyNox and secure folders if you have backups there. So going into the cloud usage, it will show you a breakdown of what is taking up your cloud. So if you wanted to come in here and delete some of this information, um, it doesn't look like you can delete any of those, but if you go back, you could go into the gallery and then you can view all those files. If you select a few, you can actually select select all and here you could download all those to your computer or you can actually select delete and remove them from your Samsung Cloud right from the web. Over here you have that other sync data that I just showed you. And then down here you have the Samsung Cloud Drive. So these are the folders that I added to that drive. I can go into my YouTube folder here, see my little video, see some information about it. If I want to actually view it, I just need to select it right here and then select download it will download it to my computer, and then I'd be able to view it right here on the computer in full resolution, um, backed up right from my phone. 
Over here, I do have the option to delete, and then I can select menu and go into the trash to view those files. Down here, I have device backup. So any devices that I've used in the past that were backed up to my Samsung Cloud account, I can go through and see what is backed up, and then I could delete that backup if I don't need it anymore. You would need to use a phone to be able to restore that actual backup. And then here we have My Knox and Secure Folder. So it does ask for your password to make sure that it is you. And then here you can actually go in and delete or um, see what you do have backed up. And you restore those by going into the secure folder on your Samsung phone and signing into your Samsung account and doing a restore. So that is how you can access your Samsung Cloud information from the web. Now there is currently no way to actually back up um, photos right from here, so I can't add anything to my Samsung Cloud Drive. I also can't change my plan that I paid for. If you wanna change your plan, um, if you're using the 50 gig or 200 gig option or want to, you would need to use a phone to be able to log in and do that. So that is the Samsung Cloud website at support.samsungcloud.com. So now that we've talked all about the gallery, let me scroll down here and show you some information about Samsung Cloud Drive. So Samsung Cloud Drive is essentially a file or a folder that anything you put into it will be stored on your Samsung account so that you can easily go and download those files without it compressing or adjusting the files at all. So if I tap on this, here it's gonna take me right to my Samsung Cloud Drive to view all the information that's in there. Let me show you another way to get to that. So if I go into the My Files application, and then here it's gonna show you recent files that you have, and then down here, it's gonna show you different cloud accounts. So right here, I have Samsung Cloud Drive. It's showing that I've used 8.87 gig of my 15 gig storage available. So I can open that up, and then right here, it is showing a folder that I have called Download Backup, and then there are no other files. If I open that up again, you can see I have a few different files right in there. So there you can see that actually synced one of my pictures as I had not opened Samsung Cloud Drive on here before. So if you want to create another folder, let's just do that. I select menu, create folder, and we're going to call this YouTube and then hit create. So now it has created a new folder and in here, um, there's really nothing I could do except for create more folders. But now if I go back into the My Files and let's say I want to add a video to my Samsung Cloud Drive, I can go and find a video clip, hold down, select Menu, Move, or actually maybe I want to copy it because I want to keep it there. So I'm going to select Copy, Samsung Cloud Drive, YouTube, Done. And now it's going to save that file onto my Cloud Drive account. So now I'm able to access that over here on my tablet or even on the web from the website that I just showed you about Samsung Cloud. So I really like that you have this option to specifically back up certain files. So maybe it's not gonna back up everything automatically, but I like that you can choose specific files for it to back up. Maybe there's something you always wanna be able to have. You could add those files right into Samsung Cloud Drive. You get a new phone, sign in, and then all of your information will be right here in the Cloud Drive account. Now, if you want to remove anything from here, all you would need to do is come in here and just like normal, select delete just like that, and it will be wiped away. You might also want to check the trash if there's anything that you definitely want to make sure is removed from the Samsung Cloud Drive. So that's just a little handy tip on how to use Samsung Cloud Drive, as well as the gallery backup on your Samsung device. So since I have my Galaxy Tab S3 right here, let me show you how to access those Cloud Drive files on here as well. So all I need to do is go into the My Files application, scroll down here and find Samsung Cloud Drive, open that up, and here you can see all those same files. So if I open up YouTube, there is a little video. If I want to save it to this device, I can actually just copy it or move it to another folder, but it is already on this actual tablet. So it is actually already synced to the tablet, so I can just select it and then it will open it up to play that file. 
and there we have the full file. It didn't have to upload it to YouTube or anything. I'm able to access it right there. And those are all the updates I have about the Samsung Cloud Drive and viewing the gallery from the web. If you have any further questions about this process, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see my full video on how to set up Samsung Cloud, make sure you select the video over here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.